So of course, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg have teamed up before, and I laugh hysterically in those films. So when I first saw the trailer for Daddy's Home, I couldn't wait, I was very excited. I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So like I said, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg team up again in a comedic duo trying to bring laughs to your faces. And this film is being directed by Sean Andrews. He did Sex Drive, which I got a lot of laughs out of. He also did That's My Boy, which I thought was funny, but a lot of people didn't. But he also did Horrible Bosses too, and I really didn't care for that film. I thought the first Horrible Bosses was great, but Horrible Bosses 2 was a bit of a disappointment. And to be honest, Daddy's Home kind of follows suit to the latter of Horrible Bosses 2 not living up to its full potential. That's not to say that it's bad. It is funny, I chuckled throughout majority of the film, but it could have been a lot better. And Will Ferrell is just his typical self, just toned down a bit, and Mark Wahlberg is just Mark Wahlberg. It seems like this movie will be hilarious, possibly one of the funniest in the year, and that's how the trailers presented itself. Something else that the trailers did present to you is there's a competition of the stepdad versus dad. And I think overall, that's where the film failed. It took too long for the film to pick up for them to have a contest. Initially, they're wanting to team up and be buddy-buddy, which is the mature thing since you have children that's involved and helps you delve more into the story. But far as comedy and laughs, it's just kind of bland and like, okay, where are the jokes? Where are the funny times? Why am I not laughing as much as I possibly could be? Yes, there are laughs and yes, I did chuckle a good number of times, but the true comedy of the film, the movie that you wanted this film to be, did not show itself until the last 20 to 25 minutes of the film. But then again, I do like some of the decisions that the director made behind the camera, and that just goes to the editing. Sometimes when the character is walking onto the scene, just a slow motion effect and editing, panning around someone's face and slow mos and chopping it up and spinning it up and slowing it down, that really did add some comedy to the film that were missing from the jokes because some of the jokes tried to go too hard and were just begging for your attention. When you got to that basketball game scene, from that point on to the end of the film, the movie was hilarious. I was laughing my ass off out loud, and that's the movie that I wanted to go see. Will Ferrell's boss in this film is also hilarious. Sometimes when he's just trying to talk to the character, it just doesn't make any sense. He's just trying to make it stick on the wall and it just falls flat on his face. And that was funny because Will Ferrell's character tries to address that. And you feel sorry for the guy. He just wants to do the right thing. He just wants to be a dad. He just wants to be a father. But for unforeseen events, he can't and it's not his fault. And that's one of the things that you like about his character. Mark Wahlberg is an asshole to say the least. And you could kind of understand that. I mean, he had a lovely wife with beautiful kids and some guy just comes into you know, his past life and tries to take it away. So of course, that's not a, a easy pill to swallow. And you're gonna wanna show your guns and show who you are. And that did help the film out a lot, but not as much as it possibly could. But the biggest sin this film made is it took too long for the contest to really get started between the stepdad and the real dad, between Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. If they would have picked it up towards the very beginning of the film, this thing would have been a lot better. Now, there are two jokes that presented themselves in the middle of the film. And at the time, they initially just gave you chuckles, but they made full circle back around towards the end of the film and just blew up and it just made the whole movie, it cranked it up a few notches, it made me laugh my butt off and made the film that much more funnier. If they would have been doing this throughout the whole film, this probably would have been another Anchorman, Step Brothers, those type of films, but it's not. Those movies were hilarious. This movie is just okay until it gets to the very end. And it also goes to show, what goes around does come around, and that's just another joke that happens at the end of the film. If I had to rate this film out of a one out of 10, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Daddy's Home? Do you wanna see it? Have I turned you off? Have I turned you on? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get all the content that I had to provide in the past and in the future. 
And also, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the website, all that good stuff. And guys, share the video. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video. But guys, thank you for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.